Hello students, in this video I will go over some exercises on how to write the equation of an ellipse if given a set of vertices and a separate set of covertices. So let's take a look, all right? So let's take a look at question number two here as I normally start with like even questions. Uh, so I, I noticed that um, 7 comma 4 and 7 comma negative 6 is the... Uh, are my vertices here. So I'm just going to make a really quick crude sketch here. So I know that 7 comma 4 is located, I want to say like maybe right here, okay? And uh, 7 comma negative 16 is going to be located uh, right over here. And and as you can tell, you know, I, I am not putting any uh, any scales. I am just trying to get a, a sense of where things are. Okay. And then covertices is 14 comma negative six. So 14 comma negative six, I'm going to say 14 comma negative six is going to be like maybe right here. And then zero comma negative six is going to be like right there. So the graph is going to look something like this. Right. And again, this is just my crude, um, sketch of what the ellipse is. Why, why am I doing this? The question here doesn't say to graph anything out, right? However, it does require me to figure out uh, what the equation is, and sometimes having a picture can help immensely. So looking at this, I know that the center is going to be the intersection of these axes. Isn't that right? Right, that's where the center is going to be located. So from here, I know that the um, the vertical axes will have all the x coordinates are the same, which is seven, and then the horizontal axes will have all the y coordinates are the same as negative six. So this immediately I know is going to be h comma k. This is h, and this is k. And if you recall, the equation for writing a um, the an ellipse looks like this. This is the general equation. Now what I have to do is I got to figure out what are the lengths of the axes, okay? So looking at this, okay, uh, I know that this length over here, okay, uh, will be, well, how much is that? Well, this is going to be 7, right? And then what is this length going to be? Well, that is going to be 10, right? Because if um, I'm looking at 7 comma negative 6, and uh, the other point I'm looking at is 7 comma negative 16. That's a difference of positive 10 right there. So immediately from that, I'm able to tell, like, what are the values of A's and B's, right? So in other words, this is really going to turn into 7 squared and 10 squared. And looking at this fr um, from the previous video, I can tell that this is going to be an or uh, a vertically oriented um, ellipse because the um, the major axis is oriented vertically, which means the focus is going to be located on that major axis on that vertical uh, major axis there. However, this is the this is the equation for uh, question two. Let's do that again, and this time, let's see if we can figure out what the uh, center is without having to go through, a uh, go through a sketch. But if you need to make a sketch, I highly encourage you to continue doing that until you feel comfortable um, not doing that, um, just because it does help with the understanding. So here, okay, I immediately can tell that this is going to be, the center is going to be 9 comma 2, okay? So immediately I can tell that it's going to be x minus 9 squared, over some quantity squared plus y minus 2 squared over again some quantity squared equal to 1. Now I got to figure out what are the values okay uh, of a and b okay so uh, horizontally okay I got to find a distance okay that the um, that the axes okay is well, what, what is the length of half of the axes going in the horizontal direction, and what is the length of the axes going in the vertical direction? So looking at this, okay, uh, and again, just to illustrate my, my point here, 
right? 9 comma 2 is located over here. So 9 comma 2 is located over here, I want to say. Okay, 9 comma 10 is somewhere up top. Uh, 9 comma negative 6 is somewhere below. This is going to be a difference of uh, 8 and uh, 13 comma 2 is going to be over here which means this is going to be a difference of 4, right? And 5 comma 2 is going to be over here. And this is again going to be a difference of 4. So what is, the, um, what is going to be the number underneath x minus 9 squared? That's going to be 4 squared. And what is the no number underneath y minus 2 squared? That will be 8 squared. And again, this is going to be another vertically oriented uh, ellipse. Let's take a look at another example. Uh, so again, the center is going to be located at uh, 5 comma negative 4. At this point, you should be able to tell now, right, that these are the x coordinates and then these are the y coordinates. So the equation turns into x minus uh, x minus 5 quantity squared over some number squared plus y minus k. k is negative 4, so it's plus 4 squared over some quantity squared equal to 1. So again, I am going to graph this out. So this is going to be... 5 comma negative 4, so it's going to be like somewhere over here. And 17 comma negative 4 is going to be over here. Negative 7 comma 4 is going to be over here. And 5 comma negative 1 is going to be over here. And 5 comma negative 7 is going to be over here. So uh, what is this? Um, going from negative 1 to negative 4, this is going to be 3. And this is going to be 3. And then over here, this is going to be a distance of, what is that? Um, this is negative 7 to positive 5. So that's 12. This is a distance of 12 away. Okay? Uh, right. And 5 to 17 is a distance of 12 away. So therefore, okay, this is going to be 12 squared. And then this will be 3 squared. Uh, and then these other ones are really, really similar. Let's talk about this guy over here now. I have 4x squared plus 25y squared plus 56x minus 300y plus 196. I need to get this equation here into, um, into a form that looks like this. x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equal to 1. So how am I going to do that? Well, in order for me to accomplish this, I will need to complete the square here. So what am I going to do to complete the square? I am going to actually erase this for a moment here just because I want to get that out of the way and I just want to focus on this problem. So bear with me for a moment. So all of this I'm going to get rid of. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to complete the square here by doing, by rearranging the x's and y's, okay? So I have 4x squared plus 56x. I'm going to place them together. And then I have 25y squared minus 300y. And I'm going to bring over the 196 to the other side, so negative 196. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to try to complete the square on the left, and then I want to, um, of, of both of these sets of equations here. So n seeing this, okay, I have 4x squared plus 56x plus something. That should make a perfect square, right? So what I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to factor out the 4. Okay, and if I factor out the 4, I'll end up with 4, and then in parentheses here, x squared plus 56x, not 56x, what am I saying? 
plus 16x. No, 14x. Because 14 times 4 gets you 56. And, I, uh, and over here, the same thing. I'm going to factor out a 5. 25, I mean. Okay. And here I have y squared minus... Uh, how many times does 25 go in, into 300? It goes inside of it 12 times. And again, I have negative 196. So I'm going to complete the square now. I want to take the middle number there, half it, and square it. So half of 14 is 7. Square it, that's 49. And same thing on the, uh, in the other set of parentheses there. I'm going to half it and square it. So if I half, uh, half of 12 is 6, square is 36. What will I be... Uh, so I can't just add something on, on one side of the equation without having to do it on the other side, right? So on the, on the other side, okay, what I need to add is not 49, but 4 times 49. And I will also need to add not 36, but 25 times 36. Okay? So if I do this, okay, I'll end up with, on the left-hand side, I'll end up with 4 times x plus 7 quantity squared, plus 5 times 25 times y minus 6 quantity squared, equal, and now i got to figure out all this stuff out on the, on the left-hand side, so it's negative 196. So negative 196 plus 4 times 49 plus 25 times 36. And what will that get me? That will get me 900. So this will equal to 900. And what, I'm, what I'm, I am going to do then is going to divide both sides by 900. And if I do, I'll end up with x plus 7, quantity squared, 4 over 900, plus 25, y minus 6, quantity squared, over 900, is equal to 1. Technically, you can leave your answer like this, actually. But, you know, we can reduce uh, a little further. 900 divided by 4, right? 4 and 900. How many times does 4 go inside of 900? So if I take 900 divide by 4, I'll end up with 225. If I take 900 and divide by 25, I'll end up with 36. So I end up with 225 and 36. So my final answer is 225 and 36. So this is x plus 7 squared, and this is y minus 6 squared. That's the equation. All right. Let's do one more example, and then we'll call it a day. Uh, I have 9x squared plus y squared. So for this, I am going to uh, maybe write on a separate app because I'm running out of room here. So let me see here. 9x squared plus y squared. So let's do uh, that over here. 9x squared plus y squared minus 90x plus 16y. minus 90x plus 16y uh, plus 208 equal to 0. Whoops. And again, I want to try to write out the equation of the ellipse in that standard form uh, where I can identify the, um, the center easily. So I'm going to rearrange all the x's. So I have 9x squared minus 90x. And I'll leave myself a little space. And then I have y squared plus 16y. And again, I want to leave myself a little space equal to negative 208. And what I do with this, okay, again, I, I noticed that there's a common factor in the, fir in the first half. I'm going to divide that out. So that's x squared uh, minus 10x. And there's no common factor on the left half, or on the second half of the left side of that equation there. So y squared plus 16y plus, again, something equal to negative 208. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the middle coefficient, half it, and square it. So in the uh, first term on the left side of the equation, I get 25. The second term on the left side of the equation, I get 64 because half of 16 is 8 and squared is 64. What I need to do, I just can't add some number randomly on you know, one side of the equation. I got to balance everything out. So on the right side of the equation, I'm going to add 9 times 25 and I'm going to add 64. So then what I get is negative 208 plus 9 times 25 plus 64. And I, and I end up with 81. So the left side of the equation, okay, this turns into 9 times x minus 5 quantity squared plus that is a perfect square of y plus 8 quantity squared. Divide both sides by 81. I end up with x minus 5 quantity squared over 9 plus y plus 8 quantity squared over 81 equal 1. This is the equation of the ellipse.